This is a short cross carry and it looks like this. It's a front carry that uses a mid-length or shorter wrap. My personal base size is a size 6. Base size is the length I need to tie a long carry, like a front wrap cross carry. This wrap that I'm using is a size 4, so that's base minus 2. I could have also used a slightly longer wrap, a size 5, and had longer tails, or here I could have fastened with a sling ring instead and used an even shorter wrap, a size 3. So it's quite a flexible carry in terms of what size you use. There's several benefits to this carry. The first is that it is pre-tied, so the cloth goes on and gets fixed in place before you put baby in and then adjust. And that also makes it poppable, which means that I can take the baby out without having to unfasten and remove the cloth. It can stay on. So if I take her and put her in the car, the cloth will stay loosely fastened around me and then when I get where we're going I can take her out put her back into the carry and just readjust and I'm not having to re-wrap. Another benefit especially on a warm day like today is that it is lovely and airy so it's got big open sides here and at the back and there is nothing around my waist here so that it's there's no uncomfortable warm parts to it but it still feels very secure with these two passes across baby. It's suitable for most ages other than very newborns because there's just these two passes here that are open but other than that it's a really flexible carry. So I'll show you how to do it. It's a very simple carry to tie but there are some tricks that are going to make it easier and more comfortable. So first of all I'll undo this one and take baby out so that I can show you how it will stay like this. I can walk around the shops like this and then put her back in. So I'll unfasten and we'll start from scratch. So to start with I'm going to find my middle marker in the centre of my wrap. I'm just going to lightly gather so that I can pass this over my head. And it's going to sit over my shoulders in a loop. And I want that loop to go far down enough for me to be able to comfortably reach it because I'm going to pass this cloth through it. And that's how it's going to anchor. It's not going to get knotted. It's going to feed through that loop and self-secure. So I've got my two passes nice and smooth. I'm going to cross them over each other so that one's on top and one's underneath. I'll start with this underneath one and I'm going to take this top rail here and I'm going to reach through the loop from my back outwards and I'm going to get hold of that top rail so I've secured it, then gather the rest of the cloth and pull it through, trying to keep it nice and flat. Now keeping it flat will just allow me to identify which part of the cloth I'm pulling on more easily when I'm adjusting it. Same thing on this other side, I'm going to bring it round, keep hold of this top rail I'm going to take my arm through. The cloth goes from the outside to the inside. Ooh, all the way. Bring it around and then flat. So now that cloth is in place. The next thing I need to do is adjust the height. So where this X is, is where my baby's bum's going to be. My demo doll's about six months old, and so if I have her bum up here, then we're going to be at eye height. So I'm going to have to loosen this by just pulling gently at the sides to slacken it off and lower that X, because I want her bottom to be out here from memory. 
there we are so now I've got it how I want it I'm going to pick my baby up this pass is my outer pass so this is a side that I'm going to put her on because she's going in the inside pass first there we are so this cross is going to sit under her bum so first of all I'm going to feed one leg through this side spread it a tiny bit and sit her over to this side so that I can get her in this outer pass and this one leg will go through that and then the next thing I need to do is take first of all this inner pass and spread it so that it is sitting in a straight line from her knee pit here to her knee pit here and then again here now give her a little pelvic tilt and get her in the right position and then I need to get rid of all this slack so she's here comfortably but we need to sort this out I'm going to start with this underneath pass and I'm going to take this slack and pull it in a straight line down and then reach inside find that underneath down here and pull it in a straight line across wraps like to go in straight lines I'm going to pull this across here so I can see that this is the bottom end of my wrap the bottom part of my wrap design I'm going to find the corresponding part of this tail and just pull it and pull that slack out there we are yeah, so that that now feels comfortable I'm going to do the same here pull it up straight down and then straight across let me just get her bottom sort my top out pull it straight down straight across chase it round and then pull that slack out I'm not pulling the whole tail I'm just pulling that bottom bit of the rail and that will tighten it how I need now I can do some more tightening if I want I can take the top rail and, and tighten that too and then just get hold of the other side of this cloth and pull and just keep tightening strand by strand till I've worked it all out if I get hold of these and just pull tight she'll just move up higher and squash in and um, and will not get it nicely shaped so there she is now if I want to I can just flip these shoulders for a bit more comfort and to keep the cloth nicely out of her face and there we go this is also the kind of carry that if you want to you can feed in it you can breastfeed in it by releasing it slightly sinking the baby down while supporting them all the time you can't do a, an unaided breastfeed and then when you've finished lift them back into position pull that slack out and tighten them back up there we go the short cross carry